Governor Tim Walz said today that his administration is going to use all the power it has to end conversion therapy for anyone 18 and under or a vulnerable adult in this state by executive order effective immediately. So you might be asking yourself, what is conversion therapy? Well, in really simple terms, it is a practice discredited by most medical experts that tries to change a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. And we're going to talk about the history of it in a minute here, but let's start with some of what was said this morning by people who gathered to announce it is time to put this practice in the past. It's way too quiet for a joyous day. <laughs> the room was full and a lot of people talked. But we want to focus on the words of two individuals, a doctor. I'm Dr. Angela Cade Gepford. I'm a pediatrician at Children's Minnesota. And a senator. I'm here with a simple message one of love and compassion. Senator Scott Dibble spent most of his time speaking directly to two groups of people. The first, LGBTQ youth. I want to say to all of the young Minnesotans who feel isolated, lonely, and despairing, maybe feeling afraid because of what they hear coming from powerful people, or maybe even wondering if they deserve how people treat them or talk about them or think about them, wondering if they could ever have a happy life as deserved. You are perfect. The second, the families of those young people. I have another message for families, for parents, who feel that they are acting from a place of love in sending their child to conversion therapy, who feel like their faith or their faith leaders tell them that, that, is, that this is what is best for their child. I do not doubt for one second your love for your child, but please pause even if for just a moment. See them as the entire, unique, special gift you brought into the world. Everything will be all right. In taking a stand today, Dr. Gepford has LGBTQ youth as her patients. So her patience with a practice widely shunned by medical experts is done. Over the last 15 years, I've worked as a pediatrician who specializes in the care of LGBTQ kids in our state. And I have seen firsthand the harms of conversion therapy. I've seen escalating suicide rates. I've seen increasing self-harm practices. And I have seen lasting psychological harm to both kids and their families. Taking this step today allows us to say more than there's nothing wrong with you. It allows us to tell our kids how amazing they are. Now, to the reason this isn't an all-out ban, that has to be passed in our state legislature, and the last time it was tried by the Democrats, it failed. Senate Republicans voted against it. I asked the Senate Majority Leader, Paul Gazelka, a Republican, for his comment on this today, and he declined. The Senate Republican Caucus as a group also had no comment on the executive order.